Nigeria has announced 594 new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total number of infections in the country to 22,614. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, MCDC, announced this on Thursday through its official Twitter handle. It said that the 594 new confirmed cases were from 22 states with seven deaths as of Thursday. Now, the Enugu state government announced 28 new cases of the novel coronavirus disease, bringing the total number in that state to 202. The state's commissioner for health, Professor Ike Chukwubi, made the announcement. He stated that the ministry confirmed the 22, 28 new cases in the update by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. He noted that the number of confirmed cases undergoing treatment was 154, while 43 had been discharged. He added that the total number of healthcare workers infected stood at 72. COVID-19 has no doubt affected all of our realities, affecting men and women in all spheres of life. Today, we take a look at how foreigners who are far from home with their businesses and livelihood affected and how they are coping, just like everyone else, with this new world order posed by COVID-19. To speak on this, we have Acting Consul General at the Consulate General of Brazil, Lagos, Samuel Bandeira. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thank you for this time and for this uh, interview. How has it been for you and other Brazilians in Nigeria? I think that this pandemic has been hard for everyone around the world. I think that this is something very new, right? It's something that we weren't used to before. I mean, we have had um, local crisis around the world, but uh, I believe that this is the first time that we really have, at least in this century, a uh, global pandemic, which is everywhere, in Africa, in Brazil, in uh, North America, Europe, Asia. All right. Um, there seem to be a little bit of issue with the network. I'll just move on to um, the second question. There are Brazilians, I believe, with uh, businesses and livelihoods here. How do you imagine they are coping uh, with the new reality as we have it, the lockdown, the restrictions and uh, the social distancing rules? I think that uh, this pandemic has been hard on everyone, including uh, on the Brazilian community here in Lagos. Uh, many of our citizens went back home um, just to be uh, closer to their families and uh, um, friends and to be somewhere um, more familiar. Uh, but those that stayed are uh, trying to follow all of the um, procedures uh, that have to be followed in order to keep everybody safe. And uh, I understand that we have two big challenges. One is keeping everybody safe and protected, and the other one is keeping the economy going and businesses going despite all of these uh, uh, limitations that we have to take to keep everybody safe. Uh, there are obviously people who are looking up to you for some sort of answers and direction. What are policies that you have in place? Are there any to help cushion the effect of COVID-19 on Brazilian citizens? Yes, what uh, we are doing is uh, we're uh, handing out some help to Brazilian citizens that uh, got stranded here in uh, Nigeria. You know, uh, Brazilians uh, are one of the few um, nationalities that it's Nigeria for tourism, especially religious tourism. Um, you know that uh, uh, Yoruba culture is very strong in Brazil um, and uh, there's also Orisha worship in Brazil. So a lot of uh, um, religious tourists come to Nigeria uh, uh, every year, and uh, unfortunately, some of them got stranded here. 
Uh, and of course, you know, if you're away from your house and your work, eventually you run out of money or uh, during uh, the severe uh, lockdown, or when the lockdown was uh, in place, not only the curfew, we also had some problems with Brazilians being evicted from hotels, so we had to find uh, lodging for them. Um, we're also organizing an emergency flight, which is going to cover different um, um, African, West African capitals uh, and cities. Um, Okay, let, 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 because of time. Those Brazilians I, I, that uh, uh, are. I, I'm really sorry to interrupt, but because of time, I just wanted to quickly uh, give us an impression of um, um, your take on the way COVID-19 is being managed in Brazil, because this uh, pandemic is across the world. Yes, I, we are trying our best in Brazil to uh, uh, handle this situation as best as possible with uh, uh, the help of the international community, of course, exchanging a lot of information and trying to develop uh, uh, different medicines and even a possible vaccine for the future. So uh, uh, we're very hopeful that uh, soon the curve will uh, start declining and uh, um, we will be able to get back to our normal lives. All right, thank you very much uh, for joining us on the news and please stay safe. Thank you, you too.